our stress ends up on our back. And our back, we break up into two regions, the lower back and the upper back. And the reason is, is there's not too many working pieces to the lower back. What you're gonna do is put it right behind your tailbone, then lift your tailbone off the ground, and use your legs to go halfway up your back and back down. And after we get five or six passes on the lower back, more if it's sore and you need it, especially again, students and office workers sit like this all day. That's not good when you should be like this. So once you get relief in your lower back, you're gonna put it between your shoulder blades. The problem is, is that your shoulder blades are gonna to stay together and you're gonna hide a lot of the knots and the scar tissue there. So to get them out of the way and expose those muscles, we're gonna walk our hands across as far as we can. Don't cross over, go over under like this, as far as you can, pick up your tailbone, and now slowly roll from your mid-back two inches below your shoulder blades to the top of your shoulder blades. Don't roll in your neck if you don't want that type of pressure on your neck. You can lean to the left or to the right of the spine to get the knots on either side. This should take twice as long as the lower back as a lot more of our stress knots end up on our lower traps and our rhomboids which lie right between our shoulder blades. You'll find a lot of relief in there and I would do this on a daily basis if you're studying.